And so the question for us is how do we take hold of this joy? Like how do we take hold of it and live into it? I think the answer to that question comes in the way that this story ends. Verse 19, it says, But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Two, two ways that we take hold of this joy. One, we take a cue from Mary. She treasures and she ponders all these things that were told to the shepherds, mind you, not to her, told to the shepherds, but through the shepherds told to her about who this baby would be. And she pondered them in her heart, which means she contemplated them, which means we are called to set aside time to ponder the reality of the goodness of God in our lives, even when life feels tumultuous, crazy, and out of control. To have a sense of like, ah, there will be peace one day and I can actually have joy in the meantime as we travel the road to the day when all things will be restored. But life, especially in December, especially in the second half of December, is hurried and harried and crazy and chaotic. And so it means we have to be people who somehow set aside time to ponder and treasure Jesus day in and day out. Not just to consume, not just to use him, but to ponder and treasure all that he has done for us. And then we see from the shepherds that they leave glorifying and praising God. It's not just that we treasure this all up, but it's like, oh, we give glory back to God to say, God, you are so good. You're so gracious. You've done so many good things in my life. And to name them through praise and glorification. And I think as we do that, we find that our joy meter goes up because we're able to experience the joy and the peace that Jesus brings, which is what this season is all about.